Recall the initial temperature of the block and the drill meter reading. Then switch on the heater. When the temperature has risen by about 10 degrees Celsius, switch off the heater. Wait for a short while and record the highest temperature reached and the final joule meter reading. So what you saw from the video is how we may measure the specific heat capacity of an aluminium block. We measure the initial temperature, the initial joule meter reading, and the final temperature, and final joule meter reading as well. And in this way, we may find its specific capacity. The formula being energy divided by the mass of aluminium block and temperature change in the experiment. The energy supplied is the difference in joule meter readings. And the temperature change delta T is T2 minus T1. And M is the mass of the aluminium block. For better result, we have to put a few drops of oil into the holes for a thermometer and heater at the beginning of the experiment. This is to improve thermal conduction. So that the heat transfer between the heater and the block is well, and the thermometer can also measure the temperature of the block accurately. In the above video, the specific capacity of aluminium was found to be something like um, 895 joule per kilogram per degree Celsius. Well, this is too ideal, isn't it? I think Mr. Lam is going to show you a demonstration in the class and you will find that the experimental value is usually larger than the standard value of 900. You know why? Because there's heat loss to the surroundings. Just like in the last experiment about specific capacity of water. So more heat is required in the experiment to raise the temperature of the block. So what we suggest on the improvement of the setup so that there will be less heat loss to the surroundings. Well, one easy method is to wrap the metal block with cotton wool. So make sure you copy all these answers for the checkpoint questions before you go back to the classroom. Recall the initial temperature of the block and the drill meter reading. Then switch on the heater. When the temperature has risen by about 10 degrees Celsius, switch off the heater. Wait for a short while and record the highest temperature reached and the final joule meter reading.